Hey, keep your eyes on yourself! <laughs> her son can't stop growing at night. Dude, if this woman's having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. <laughs> What in the Booga Booga Five Nights at Freddy's? Oh! It's just those bones, they don't fit into his skin anymore. <laughs> go! Go! Go down, <laughs> I want y'all to ignore the fact that I just jumped. Disclaimer, these videos are produced with the intentions to entertain and for artistic purposes. The acts you see should not be replicated. Hello, Lux Army. Let's hit 100,000 likes for more new episodes. Let's see, did they hit 100,000 likes? Mm, barely. We received an email from a woman named Candace, a 53-year-old okay. mother who believes there's something horribly wrong with her son. Okay. Candace says her son doesn't talk to her anymore, and it seems like he cannot stop growing to the point where he can barely fit in his clothes. She oh, says that's so horrible. Buy him new clothes. Maybe he'll speak to you then. Maybe you're the problem. Like, Candace. He's been pulling out his hair and won't oh. let her see his face. Oh. She sent us this video for proof. Tommy, I brought you your dinner. Do you want it, sweetie? Dude, if this woman. So tonight we've decided to head out to her house and see what's happening with her son when she's not watching him. All right, Ben, let's do this. So what do you think's going on with this lady's son? Nothing. I really don't understand the problem. Okay, so from what she said she in the email, her son's been growing super fast for some reason and acting really creepy towards her. Dude, that doesn't make any sense. How do we know he's not just hitting a growth spurt or exactly. something? Exactly. I don't think this lady would contact us if he was just having a normal growth spurt. He's Dude, gonna be a basketball this player. If having problems with her son, they should be going to therapy. Let's just get there and see what we're dealing with, okay? Okay, she's, fine. She mad she about to have a basketball child. That's crazy. A man going to a creepy place with a camera. Is this Outlast, bro? And the only thing he has with him is Wait, probably right here, a camera. Right this is it, bro. Okay. Something seems really wrong here, dude. The windows are all dark. Dude, I don't know if I want to meet these people. This could just be like a waste of time. Yeah, can well, we turn at around? Least, let's just go in and meet Candace and try to talk to her son, okay? Okay. My skin tone does not fit this type of behavior. All right, let's uh, knock on her door. Why are you not like that? Like, wait, why you got your distance that far? She didn't answer, go back home. Her? Hi, Candace, right? Yeah. Hi, uh, you emailed us about your son? We told you we were coming tonight? Okay. Uh, why are you, why are you acting like that? Come in, right? Okay. Okay. Why is she, why is she acting like this? Dude, it seems like she didn't know we were coming. Bro, she's probably gone. What if it is, what was the son luring Candace, them? is your son home right now? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just sit down and talk with you, okay? Come on, let's sit down and talk. She kind of reminds me of that girl that you first meet in okay, Resident Evil Candace, Seven. Thank you for uh, letting us sit down with you. Uh, can like you give us more details girlfriend. about what's going on with your son? My son. It's my fault. It is. I should have done something sooner. Uh, so you told us in the email you sent us that, you know, he's been acting really strange. Can you go into that more? He's, he's still my boy. He, he just doesn't talk to me anymore. Oh, okay. So I mean, you're I a bad mom. you're very concerned about him, which is, you know, a good thing. But when did all this start happening with him? After Michael passed. Michael was your husband? Okay. Tommy ran into the woods. He was gone for about three days. Damn! I almost called the police. It took three days for you to think about calling for the police? Into his room through his window. The window? Why you are you don't love him through the front door? I don't know. He just completely shut down. And now he wears this strange mask. It's just like he's not like Tommy anymore. What is well, this, Friday the 13th? Well, you mentioned his father passed away. Are you sure this isn't like some type of grieving? No, this isn't grieving. It's physical, too. What do you mean by that? It's as though his bones, it, they don't fit into his skin anymore. I love my son. He 
is my whole world, but this isn't my time. Kill him! <laughs> Okay, Candace, uh, is it okay if Chester and I, uh, go talk to Tommy now? Merc that boy! Yeah, but he's been pulling out his hair lately. Okay, that's fine. Just don't say anything. I think he's self-conscious of it. <laughs> okay, where's, uh, his room? Such a good mom. It's upstairs on the left. Okay, alright, come on. Mom, I would want you to come with me so I can feel more comfortable. Okay, let's know? go talk to Tommy. 11.34 p.m. Y'all couldn't show up in the day? Yeah. Why are we first person? Tommy? Uh, I'm gonna open the door. Why are we first- Why are we first person? Hi. Tommy? Uh, my name is Parker. I'm friends with your mom. Um, she invited me here to talk to you to make sure you're okay. Are you feeling all right? Um, I know you see us next week. about the way you've been acting. Tommy? I know y'all see his Do you think you could turn tail. around so we could talk face to face? I don't want to talk face to face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skedaddling. <laughs> this is what happens if I see Tommy like that. He turns his head around. They shouldn't even look to each other, bro. They should have just ran. Yeah. Hey, Tommy. Dude, we should go. We gotta go now. Okay, Tommy. Uh, if you want to talk more, Chester and I will be here all night. What do you? Why? Dude, I gotta talk to you. Okay, come on, go over here. What do you mean all Dude, night? Dude, did you see his face? What was that? I I don't know. I think that's his mask. Why is he wearing a mask? I have no idea. It, it could be some sort of grieving thing after his dad passed. How what? could that be a grieving thing? Dude, I don't know. I mean, we came here to set up cameras. So why don't we just start setting them up? Dude, I'm afraid to see what this guy even does at night. Bro, let's just set up the cameras. Okay. The guy, the Caucasian guy is the one that has the most common sense here. That okay. don't even make sense. This is not, this is not historically okay. accurate. <laughs> So Tommy just went to the bathroom. Let's go put a camera in his room. Oh, dude. It smells so bad in here. Why are they in his room? Hey, what's this? Dude, there's that, like some sort of like This man was eating car. Dude, don't don't mess That is me. squid semen. <laughs> Can we go home? Let's put a camera in Candace's room. Can we please go home? Why is she letting strangers stay Hi. in her dead? Uh, uh, stay in her house. Can we put a camera in your room? Okay, that's good. Okay, Candace, so uh, we set up cameras all over your house and we put one in Tommy's room too. Okay. I'm not sure he's gonna like that. Oh, he gonna like this. Oh, oh, why? Um, well, he doesn't know that we put one in there. At least I hope not. I just don't want to make it's it. It's gonna be easy to see. It's big I and black. Tommy back. Okay, Candace, Chester and I are gonna do our best, but uh, we need to see how your son acts at night first. <laughs> Candace, listen. It's all right, okay? Chester and I are gonna do the best we can. We just need to watch the footage from these cameras so we know what's going on with him, okay? We'll all watch the footage together in the morning. Okay. Chester and I are going to be sleeping in your guest room tonight. What? Okay. Why can't y'all just go home? Okay. Guest okay. room? Bro, when we were talking to Tommy, I got a really bad feeling. Did you see the way that he looked at us? Dude. I know it was creepy, but we really don't know He's what he might be going tripping, bro. I just feel like he doesn't want us in this house. Bro, I don't feel safe sleeping here. Yeah, and neither does Candace. And that's her own son. That's why we're here. Dude, let's just go to sleep, okay? We'll watch the footage in the morning. <sighs> okay. Bro, I see T, bro, In Caucasians we trust. Why are we not trusting the Caucasian in the one rare instance that they are doing the right thing in a horror situation? Let me give 
show your space. I don't need to be up on the computer anyways. You know, social distancing and things of that nature. Yeah, you rock into that little Wayne, eh? That man must be imagining some serious corner of his head for him to be spazzing like that. Oh. Oh. How did y'all fall asleep? I'm, I'm, I'm over here, I'm over here freaked, bro. Is he trying to twerk? Okay, Megan. No, oh, bro, you're getting too close to me. You getting too close to me. You getting too close to me. I don't like being scared. You good, cut? You good? What is he doing? Don't kill your mom, man. It's 2 a.m. How are you not waking up? Is this Venom, Nick? Is he Venom? <laughs> He's looking at us! He knows we're here! He knows we're here! He knows! Okay, so it's about 7 a.m. right now. We just woke up. Dude, did you hear anything last night? No, I slept like a baby. Why? I don't know, maybe I had a weird dream. How okay, did well, you, you go sleep? I'll go How? Sleep so we can watch it. Alright, I'll go wake up. Okay. I don't even understand how they fell asleep. I don't know how Candace, Candace? didn't wake up. It's time to wake up. Hearing those Come demonic in. sounds? Uh, hello? Candace. Yeah! Are, are you okay? What? Tommy? No, it's Chester. Uh, we need to get up. It's it's morning. Yeah, wake your ass up. Oh, oh my god. My legs high. Parker! Parker! Peter! Dude! Candace, what what's wrong? Her legs aren't working. Candace, and Candace, are you there's okay? There's something wrong with her, dude. There's this black mark on her back. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, let's let's get you up, okay? Why is 911 not the first thing they do? Dude, what's wrong with her? Why is 911 not what we call right now? Where y'all get a wheelchair from? Okay, Who just has so a wheelchair like on standby? Last night. Okay, so it looks like Tommy wasn't sleeping much at all. He's very active at night. I can see that. He jumping rope and shit? Oh my god. He's going into my room. Oh my god, what's he doing to you? I don't know. What's wrong with my son? <laughs> Is that why you can't walk? That's your spine. I don't know what's going on. Candace, look what he did to you. This isn't normal. We need to call the police. So why didn't you? You don't have to tell someone, oh, this isn't normal. He sucked out your spine. My nigga, you, uh, doot, doot, doot. Oh. Yeah, so, um, we have an emergency. Yeah, um. My son's a demon. We need to call the police. No, no. What do you mean, no? no? But Candace. But see, they won't understand Tommy. Okay, well, if you don't want to call the police, Chester and I need to go talk to him right now. What? No, he rests at this time. Yo, we got to talk now, bro. Okay, let's go talk. This is what we're talking about. Talk to him. Bro, what the hell did we just watch? Why doesn't she want to call the police? Dude, I don't know. That was horrifying. It looked like he was sucking your spinal fluid out. Like a mosquito or something. Like Aaron Yeager? This is how the Titans started. 
Ymir? Oh no. The saga. The saga. He just wants freedom. <laughs> like a mosquito or something. Did you see the way he was walking? I think he grew more last night. We gotta get out of here. Well, now it's more clear than ever that this lady needs our help. Which time is he? We'll stay here one more night. Bro, come on. We're staying. We don't have a choice. I'm leaving this dumbass. Okay. I'm I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad, bro. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm okay, angry. Candace. So uh, we saw some pretty awful things last night. I, I really just don't want him to come in here again tonight. I mean, I don't know what to do here. Are you sure we can't just call the police? No, no. They won't understand. They won't understand. Shut up. Okay. Uh. Well, listen. How about we put this chair here against your door handle in case he tries to get in again? There's no way he's gonna be able to get through this. Okay. Okay, There's so no way. Now, if he tries it's to impossible. Again, Chester and I are gonna be right in the other room. Try to get some sleep, okay? We'll watch your footage in the morning. Okay, I just really hope my ex one would be okay. <laughs> I understand that, but right now we need to worry about you too. Okay, so how do they get out the room if they block the door? The or is the other room yeah. inside the Oh, they had to move the chair back out the way. Why don't y'all block Bro, your door? You can't tell me you feel safe sleeping here tonight. What if he comes into our room? All right, look, obviously I'm not comfortable with this, but what are the other options? Going home? We can leave. The police? Dude, let's just record tonight to see what this guy's doing. It's definitely too unsafe to leave Candace alone. All right, but Then take her with you. He literally asked him, what are we going to do if he tries to come into our room tonight? He didn't have an answer. He quite literally skipped the question. The second I hear anything, I'm leaving. Okay, whatever. Let's just go to bed. Okay, whatever. Now I bet you they tickling each other's toes while they sleeping too. Over there touching tips and ish, man. Let me get my weapon. <laughs> Keep your distance. Uh, he's so scared of me, bro. He's pussed for real, bro. He can't handle me. He know better. Hey, keep your eyes on yourself. Damn. Ah! I accidentally unplugged my computer. My monitor disconnected. <laughs> oh, I stubbed my big toe too. <laughs> this hole, let me find this hole real quick. Up, where is this hole at? I don't need to see this jump scare again. I saw it the first time. Okay. On guard. Round two. Fight. One of the Five Nights at Freddy's, bro. <laughs> Nigga, move! Nigga, move! Move! Why are you so tall? <laughs> Is that your mating call? At least it's not us. Yo, we go. At least it's not Dude, us. Hey! Breaking. What? Something's breaking. Bro. Eat your ass up. Yeah. Eat your ass up. What do you think happened, bro? Yeah. Do you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. What are y'all gonna do? There's a window right there. Jump out of it. <laughs> Dude, the window! 
Is this your shirt? Where'd she go? Bro, I think Bro. we I think we gotta get out of here, dude. Dude, did that guy take her? Dude, I do not want to be here anymore. We gotta go now. Dude, we, we gotta find her. No, we don't. We don't. We don't we gotta worry about ourselves. Dude, you saw that thing take her. We need to find her, bro. Let's go. We gotta call someone. Dude, he's gone. Bro, we need to call someone. We drove home. Thank God, bro. Thank God. I'm getting tired of this not white man. I don't know what he is. I just know I'm I, just the white man, bro. I just I never thought I would be praising a white man like this. She told us that Candace told her Tommy died a year ago. She let a demon into her house and pretend it was Tommy and let it kill him. Oh, she deserve it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this episode. This was beautiful. It was a, this was this was a nice, beautiful piece of art. I didn't get scared once. <laughs>